Life on Mars. In the midst of climate change, humans have started to realize the profoundly negative effects we've had on our planet. What if we could attempt to recreate Earth and test if we understand it enough to survive without it, potentially on another planet? This was the exact idea that sparked the creation of Biosphere 2, with Earth itself being Biosphere 1. This experiment was thought up when the conversation about space travel was becoming more than just science fiction. A group of eccentric innovators recreated a few key ecosystems in an artificial habitat which was designed to mimic Earth's complex environments. In 1991, eight people were sealed into this artificial habitat for two years to test if space colonization was possible using this method. The Biosphere 2 experiment was filled with drama, outside criticism, and scientific breakthroughs which piqued my interest from the very first time I heard about it. After traveling to every country in the world, I've been asked countless times if I would travel to space if given the opportunity. My answer is usually no, because I feel like I've only begun to scratch the surface of how much there is to discover here on Earth. But when a few of my friends asked if I wanted to join them on an exclusive mission to Biosphere 2 in Arizona, of course, my answer was yes. In preparation for this trip, we all visited a clinic to get tested for COVID-19 and confirm that we are healthy enough to travel domestically. After receiving negative COVID results, we headed to the airport to fly from Los Angeles to Tucson, Arizona. She's been everywhere, but yes, Theory takes her to Arizona for the first time. <laughs> this is my first time in this state and it's only an hour away from where I live. <laughs> I didn't research much about this place ahead of time because I wanted to be completely surprised by what we would find there. Some people said it's a failed experiment, but that's the, that's the history that I'm excited to explore. All right, didn't know that that was a part of the history. Pretty Some people say stuff. this place sucks. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. It's around 5.30 in the morning. The sun is just about to rise, and as you can see, there's these huge domes, these huge glass buildings, and we have a lot to learn. And uh, Lexi forgot her camera battery, so she's gonna be using uh, our <laughs> camera. She's a uh, you know, kind of still amateur uh, YouTuber, and uh, hey, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. is not really her usual wake up time, so uh, bear with us. <laughs> now, on to the video. He's, he's not annoyed at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane! Yeah. Now that we've had our first unbelievable glimpse at this place. We're gonna be taking a tour throughout all of the different elements of this simulated earth. Let's go check it out. This is like a straight up jungle in here. Right now, we are inside the rainforest in the Biosphere 2, which as you can see on the glass here, it's so humid because of the condensation and water is just dripping off of all of these leaves. It's such an incredible environment, especially to think that we are in the middle of the desert in Arizona. <laughs> Time to go uh, rappelling in the rainforest. 
All right, Amar. Don't drop me. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a bit hotter up here. And just this huge mountain that they built inside of this. Wow, and you can really get a closer look at the, the structure from up here. <laughs> it is actually raining indoors right now. Coming down. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so wet. This is oh. Crazy. oh! Do you not want to get wet? No! I don't even know what I'm staying back for. It's so oh. I can't do this! No! So I think there's five environments and I think that was one of them. <laughs> I think. So much to see here. When this place was originally made in the 90s, it was to help an experiment for eight people to go into this atmosphere without leaving for two full years. These people took quarantine to a whole new level, and as you can imagine, while they were living here, they ran into countless technical and interpersonal issues, and it's just one of the most extreme experiments for what it would be like to live on another planet. This basically basically became their spaceship, Earth. And they agreed for you to be able to stay here for two years to do the next experiment. <gasps> we'll see you uh, in 2022. You can wear that suit. Wait, wait, it, it, the it TV starts, doesn't. The TV doesn't work. It starts now. It's starting right, starting now. right now. So just enjoy it. We'll send you some bananas and... and but uh, aren't you coming? Turn down the ocean? That's it? What? The world's largest experimental ocean. It's pretty cool. <laughs> transitioning from the rainforest and the ocean side of the biosphere towards the savanna, which is to simulate the desert. We call this area our technosphere. So this is all the technology that runs all the biology. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? what is this? So this is the lung. It's essentially what kept the biosphere from exploding. So when it was completely sealed, where air needed to go to expand when it got warm, it contract when it got cool. If they didn't have a place for it to go to expand and contract, it would have blown out the windows. So they built this. So if above you is about 40,000 pounds of rubber attached to an aluminum steel disc that is completely held up by air pressure. You can see the entire roof closing in on us. It's going up with you. <laughs> Biosphere 2 may have been intended to teach us about our potential life as a Mars colony, but it ended up teaching us a lot about humanity. We often see ourselves as a separate part of our ecosystem, almost as if we're not dependent on the Earth for our survival. The original Biospherians learned that not only are we dependent on the Earth, we actually understand very little about how it functions. And since we won't be colonizing Mars anytime soon, we need to take care of our planet. Biosphere 2 has faced a lot of criticism because in the end, the two-year experiment didn't work, and the Biospherians needed help from the outside to complete their mission. Scientific progress has always been built on failure, and thanks to the University of Arizona, Biosphere 2 is currently the largest Earth science experiment in the world, and it's still actively conducting research on how we can live in greater harmony with our environment.
Thank you so much to Biosphere for giving us such a hands-on tour. This was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. If so, please hit the subscribe button and I will catch you next week.